Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will study a twiddle factor matrix. Basically, a twiddle factor matrix describes a rotating vector which rotates in an incremental order according to the number of samples, where number of samples is denoted by capital N and capital N can be 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So let us study and solve some problems on twiddle factor matrix. Here in this question x of n is given 0 1 0 1 and we have to find x of k by using twiddle factor matrix. So let us consider x of n where 0 is x of 0, 1 is x of 1, 0 is x of 2 and 1 is x of 3. So by solving it by twiddle factor matrix, so we need to draw a twiddle factor matrix, right? So the twiddle factor matrix is given by here we can write it as x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. So in an exam the question will be uh, x of n is given you have to find the x of k by using butterfly structure or by using twiddle factor matrix. Okay. So uh, in this you need to learn how the twiddle matrix has been formed. So the twiddle factor matrix can be formed as 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 ok minus j minus j plus j plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 this is in twiddle factor matrix ok now you need to multiply it by this x of n ok so 0 1 0 1 so after multiplying it we get the result x of k so multiplication is done by this 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 so at the result we get is as 2 ok now next is 0 minus j plus 0 plus j so we will get at the result is 0 because minus j plus j will get cancelled now we will get 0 minus 1 0 and minus 1 we will get it as minus 2 0 plus j plus 0 minus j will get it as 0 so my resultant x of k will be 2 0 minus 2 and 0 this is my final x of k uh, by using twiddle factor matrix ok now let us solve some more problems So the next question is given as x of n is 1, 2, 1, 2. So we have to find x of k as well as inverse of x of k. So in the exam, sometimes you will ask that find the inverse DFT of the following sequence. Okay. So here in this question we will solve the DFT as well as well as the inverse DFT. Okay. So uh, let us solve it. Okay. So x of n is given 1, 2, 1, 2. Now we will solve by twiddle factor matrix. Okay. So this is an x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, and x of 3. Now the twiddle factor matrix is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 minus j, minus j plus j plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 okay 
now multiplying factor is x of n so 1 2 1 2 hmm. so let's solve it by simply multiplying this two matrix 1 into 1 is 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 that is 6 second is 1 minus 2j minus 1 plus 2j that is 0 1 minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 is minus 2 1 plus 2j minus 1 minus 2j is equals to 0 so my resultant x of k is equals to 6 0 minus 2 0 so this is the dft of x of n now we have to find the inverse dft of this following sequence okay so so we will find inverse dft by using twiddle factor matrix only so in inverse dft the twiddle factor matrix changes like this the following matrix is x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 here it is multiplied by 1 by n where n represent how much point of dft you have here four points are there so it is in so capital n value is 4 matrix is given as 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 here is plus j plus j minus j minus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 okay so here you can see the sign has been changed okay now to find inverse we need to take this sequence okay so 6 0 minus 2 and 0 now simply multiply where capital N equals to 4 so we will write 1 by 4 6 into 1 is 6 plus 0 minus 2 plus 0 uh, anything multiply by 0 is 0 only minus 2 sorry first of all is 6 plus 0 minus 2 plus 0 anything multiply by 0 is 0 so resultant is 1 by 4 divided by 6 minus 2 is equals to 4 0 4 0 which is nothing but x of n is nothing but resultant x of n inverse of x of uh, x of k is equals to 1 0 1 0 okay thank you for watching this video please like comment and share